What's up guys, Andy again, Subway Productions. As always, got my dude, T. Holly. Hashtag, what do you say? Thank you. <laughs> we got the back nine of Rocky City Blast, round three. And there you see front nine, uh, Logan. Three stroke lead over Ben Page. Ben and Logan both tearing up a good round here so far. Uh, Eric had a little tree counter, so maybe that slow down speed up we'll who see, knows but yeah ben and ben and logan are shredding it like good shredded chicken at a mexican restaurant man just shredding it <laughs> shredding. Yes. just uh, shredding it just shredding it so pretty pretty straightforward hole here um looking you know center gap you've seen turnover forehand uh, depending on what the comfort is just Oh yeah. Oh no, I did it again. Did. I didn't do that. But a that lot. was a that was a beautiful shot. It's funny how like. Very nice. Yeah, get a little ice around there. Start the back nine. Sweet. Yeah, it's nice for uh, nice for you to finally be settled in at yes. the new house. Kind of got everything. Kitchen's done and. House is kind of steady, and so it's nice to get back in, in the booth and it grind is. some videos. It is very nice so. to be back. Now, if we can just get me in the house. <laughs> <laughs> great putt there. Yeah, great putt, John. But, yeah, I mean, hey, yeah. you you getting settled. We're, we're getting I there. got settled. I know. I, Time to get settled here. Time to get settled in. Watch this back nine here. So, Ben looking to stay hot. Bang. And he does. And he stays on fire. I expect him to continue to be on fire the way he's putting. Extremely confident. And that's Ooh, a big comeback speak, there from speak, Logan. Speaking. And Eric has had his troubles early, but definitely a way to get back on pace. For sure. So, big deuce there. So, three great birdies. Unfortunately, Logan uh, just a little off target, but a great comeback putt. So the lead gets a little slimmer here, moving into hole 11. 264 foot dog leg left to right. Uh, again, kind of same situation as last hole. We're going to look for a little baby turnover um, or a nice forehand line. And I actually think that tree did do <laughs> some good. I think he overturned that disc a little more than he wanted. I think so. That was a great kiss. And that's, I think, what Ben's disc would have done had it not hit the tree there. So. But those guys just getting a little on top. And Eric going the, the line that I like. Just a smooth little forehand line in here. Get it. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Great oh, shot. Beautiful shot. This is a hole where the only way you're not going to be in the circle is if you hit a tree. Yeah. Yeah, it's really hard to miss the gap off the tee. Um, as long as you just put the disc on the right angle, you should easily be inside the circle. Mm -hmm. As long as you don't hit a tree in the fairway. And as you see there, I mean, Johnny is, is the first to putt and right at circle's edge. Mm -hmm. So just showing you all these guys taking dead aim at this hole. Logan just going to clear out. Yep. Eric going to try to continue the star frame. Yeah, he's looking good, man. Looks like he's settled in a little bit and working on fighting back after those front nine woes. So. Yeah, sometimes all you need is a new nine. It's yep. easy to break the course up into two pieces. Maybe he's done that. So what's nice, I will tell people sometimes maybe about a lead card. If you're on it, you get a true 9-9. Nine -nine. I mean, if you're not on a lead card, it's hard to break up that 9 in your head. If you're in a funk, you're going to be more likely to stay on it. So Definitely. There you go. Here's hole 12. Interesting little hole. A lot of these players are going to do what Ben's doing. Go wide kind of towards the road. Well played there. I mean, you're just going to hyzer back in towards the basket. If you want to go left, well, technically straight, you just got to maneuver all these trees. So, yeah, I think after playing this hole wrong three years in a row, um, next year <laughs> I'm gonna finally decide to play this on the right way. So, I tried to play this route and did the exact same thing, oh. and the tree <laughs> counter is back. Back in action. It was a ladies, good looking throw, ladies just... and gentlemen, for your pleasure. Yeah, no, it was a smooth, beautiful forehand. Uh, again, though, I've played that line three years in a row and have never birdied this hole. 
And after watching these guys throw this hyzer backhand, I, it just it seems silly from now on to, to try to throw the forehand line like Eric did. Same thing I did. So, yeah, I'm surprised you don't just grab your breaker and, or your gator and toss it out there. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it's just something I've. I think used to there was a lower hanging limb and I wouldn't take it and it's way more open now than it used to be so mm, Logan saying hot that was a good putt to have after missing about the same distance the whole couple, before couple holes two holes before yeah. yeah and this right here put Ben in like NBA jam mode hot <laughs> like like fresh out the oven hot He's cooking, man, with like, those little 20-footers. Yeah, like while we're on the theme of Mexican restaurants, when they bring the plate to your table and say, hey, this is hot, like that kind of hot. Yeah. I think it's usually in Spanish, but... Well, maybe. I don't know. They use these. <laughs> I get the combo number six, you're, you're and they bring the plate to me, and it's like, hey, guy. plate's going to be hot. Yeah. That's like two words. Plate's hot. So. Plate hot. Plate hot. Yeah. So, there you go. Look, three for three on that right route for one on the left route you know what I mean so proof is in the banana pudding that's true and Logan and Ben 9 and 10 under oh, just destroying keep it up dudes this course uh, moving to hole 13 254 feet dead straight nothing hard here right. throw it right down the gap you see Ben oh get a God. nice kiss what a what a nice kiss that was so every bad kick that Eric has gotten Ben has gladly taken <laughs> right. a great kick for it Great shot from Johnny. Gonna get that to slide out. Yeah, see, he wanted just a little more, but can't complain with the distance there. Looks like Logan's going with that forehand rhino. Or is it a pig? No, it's a rhino. Just a little hyzer flip up straight. That needs to sit, but mm. still gonna be looking at yeah, it. He's deadly from there. All right, no trees hit. Yeah, He's right. gonna give himself a look. Safe. And there you see, just appearing to be what's maybe just outside of circle's edge. Looks like it. Or right on the line. And another great putt. Man. Logan just continuing to stay dialed in. Again, no phase to when that putt on 10 didn't make it. Um, continue to just push straight forward, so. Johnny also looking to be right on the circle edge. Mm -hmm. And another God. great putt. And these guys are just throwing down 30 footers. It's amazing what a good putt will do. Yeah. Oh. Good. I couldn't tell from this angle I just how just much high left. he got, but I think high left is right. Yeah. yeah. I think probably a little off. Very nicely done. And there's that 20 foot putt again. Definitely uh, confident for that range for Ben. Yeah. And Ben just continuing to put together a great 18 holes here so far. So 11 down through 13 is mighty impressive. Uh, so again, two stroke lead for Logan. Keeping pace. back here hole 14 as always thank you to flight towel continue to do great things i continue to have mine in the bag that's right uh, here's ben taking this forehand line great looking shot there great tree again uh but that's pretty much the play oh and and mr mccray with the rare forehand confirming that's the play because if he's doing it yeah anybody's doing it i mean all the cool kids are doing it yeah exactly Logan just got a little caught up there somewhere. Yeah, catching one of those left sides. And boy, I hate to say it, it's it's hard not to hit a tree here. So it is, <laughs> it is. <laughs> I fear, I fear for the counter here. <laughs> it's just, it's, I think I, he looked that seven in the face. Yeah. <laughs> oh come on, baby. Oh, oh great run! Goodness, what a great run. And what's crazy is a lot of these are coming off of his forehand, and he's such a good forehand oh player. Well, they're beautiful throws. Yeah. I mean, they're not bad throws. It oh, just, my God. What a run. Gosh. 
it just proves what just being fractions of inches off can do. And especially a course like this, mm-hmm. I mean, every every line has got to be perfect. Mm, not not Johnny's best. Yeah, just I was actually impressed at, at where his forehand ended up. Uh, definitely gave himself a look. And what do you know? That's awesome. BP and J. As a player, you're starting to get like frustrated. Well, and, and but two also, things are going on right now. Two things going on. For one, everyone else on the card is beginning to look at it like, oh snap, Ben's got this crazy good round going on. For two. If it's in Ben's mind, mm-hmm. you know the nerves have to be getting there for the simple fact that you know what's beginning to occur in the round. I mean, 12 down through 14 is... It's unreal. I, 12 down, anybody would take 12 down out here as just, not that it can't be done, but just in the tournament round, just a good, solid 12 down round is great. And to be at that point through 14 with four left to play. And I, th- I think it's, it's a good point to mention too. Being, you know, chasing the lead might actually help. Because sure. if you're coming in with the lead, maybe you're not playing as aggressive. So Right, it's a great point. We'll see how it continues to go. Hole 15, you got this straight gap that most players are probably going to take just like that. That ought to be another two for him. Uh, but there is also a, a left side here that we may see. Yeah, I take the forehand line here, but obviously these guys are comfortable throwing you know, putters or mid-ranges right at the gap. That's their game. Yeah, Logan taking – oh, not – Quite out there enough. You need to be just on the outside of that tree. Yep. Uh, for that angle. Man. And that's interesting because, you know, I think, and, and that's right there, I think mentally what Brown can do to you because Eric is such a good forehand player. To me, this is such an easy forehand line yeah. for a good forehand player. And for him to want to take the backhand there, I think just shows you, you know, he's thrown a lot of great forehands mm-hmm. and not gotten results that he wanted and maybe talked himself out of it there. So. Hmm. Tough putt, especially yeah, as is. much as a hyzer putter as Logan is with that tree right there on the right. That was a tough one to get up there. Oh, oh man. Johnny from 15, so. So in the bank? Yep. Ooh. Interesting a little, little hang up there. A little spit through finish, but stayed in the basket. STF. Spit through finish. I like it. Then with the composed seven footer. I mean, keep make it, no mistakes. Keeping it together so far. That's gonna tie the lead, ladies and gents. After being down three at the turn, uh, and and you look at the round, Logan's. <laughs> Playing great this Oh, ball. yeah. Fantastic round. And, and Ben is just going out of his mind here. Unconscious. And another kind of simple turnover backhand hole um, or forehand line if you can get something to kind of flip up. Yeah. It's a little hairy down there. but I think you definitely want to take this route that they're taking. Yeah, this Johnny turned it over ideal. a bit, but going wide or left, it looks like Logan's going to do it. Just brings all those trees into play. Oh, wow. Just pass it in your race. And that's one thing I've learned. If you do take that route, I don't think you worry about being so touchy. You just get it up on a hyzer and let it crash. Uh, and air, oh, no. Oh, boy. I thought that we were going to get our first double there. I know. I did, wow. too. Not that I was hoping for it. No, but, but it did seem likely. Maybe he'll just throw this one in. Hmm. I think we're a little shaken at this point in time, but stay up. A little push putt run there. Another high left. It's unfortunate because he got got going on this back nine. Just can't quite get a hold of it. And here you go, another 20-ish foot putt. Mm. 
<laughs> Another putt goes in the basket. So blue. Shout out, Ben Page. And Logan really did almost crash that one in. Easy work there. Yep. So pair twos on this hole. Uh, what's looking to be a three and a four, I do believe there. Um, definitely not something you want to suffer out here, Braun. Bogies are, are definitely losing strokes on the field. Yeah. Um, so pars are already probably losing to, you know, a third of the field with bogies are losing almost everybody. So unfortunate there. Um, but there we go. Ben and Logan continuing to just push and push. Moving on to hole 17. A hole that I really like. Um, you got kind of a straight gap here with a little baby hyzer. You got a really wide hyzer right route and a crazy left forehand route if you decide to get really silly with it. Um, I've also seen people throw thumbers here just right down the middle and get the flex out into the far right gap and then let it come back. And uh, that was a beautiful tumble shot. <laughs> and here's Logan taking this this real tight forehand line, but hmm. on line just hit a tree early and came up short. Johnny maybe going wide hyzer. Oh yeah, I love when we when we get a hole with multiple lines. You get to see them all thrown. Oh look at there. Oh man, awesome. Mm -hmm. That's actually three really good shots so far with three different routes. And this on. Pretty good line here too. Fred. It is. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it touched it. Yeah, I mean, I think it's. I think it. I mean, it obviously counted. I, mean, I don't make the rules. It's applicable. I don't make the rules. Uh, unfortunately, he hit it, and he'd have been closer if he didn't. So, let's see if Logan can put this one in. You know, until you Ooh. said something earlier. <laughs> A little frustration? Yeah, like a little kung fu or chi might have just come out of Logan there. But yeah, a little frustration for that. Yeah. Hey, hey look, ain't no, ain't no tree holding Eric back at this point. No. He said he's having enough of these trees. That's right. Making putts regardless. Until you mentioned Logan's hyzer putt, I don't know that I've ever thought about it. Yeah. But that was definitely on a oh, yeah. angle. Big time. Mm. And what just just as as calm and collected as can be right now, and as I can our, tell you, uh, someone personally speaking, if I was sitting at fifteen down, I my I just I'd be doing everything I could to just be like, okay, what was par, par on the last hole? Was okay. that a bug swat? I, I don't know what that was. I, I don't know if that was a frustration swat or a bug swat. <laughs> I think it was a bug swat. Maybe it's been really cool had he done that with the Paw Patrol cape on. <laughs> Run around before, but unfortunately uh, not. So he's got you going with that towel. Here, uh, yeah, it's. I can't get it out of my mind. I've had nightmares about it. So here's Ben on hole 18, 198 feet uphill. No. Oh wow! And that's gonna be some work left to finish with the really want to have it sweet 16. Uh, Johnny going straight gap with the slide approach. It's sad when you're disappointed <laughs> with 15, which mm -hmm. I am just because I'm watching, but because he could have had. Oh my goodness. Oh man. Oh. Oh, I thought we were going to roll on another <laughs> one. <laughs> Flip over. And I think that one took him one more on the back nine than the front. You know, six and five. Or maybe, yep. I think so. Hmm. He was definitely a good support about it. It was actually Eric's idea to do the tree counter. Yeah, so, it was. It was uh, just to shout out everyone that thinks we yes. might be being a little jerkish here. We're not. Eric's the one that. No, Eric, it was. It was great. So. Yeah, Eric's cool dude. Super fun to play with. I got to fortunate to play with him in the year before this uh, at the Rocket City Blast. So, uh, great up and coming player will continue definitely. to show up on these lead cards. I can promise you. Yeah. So just not his day and not his best <laughs> round. Unfortunately, again, a lot of good shots. Just. Not, oh, not speaking of good shots, the right line, yeah, and beautiful putt there from Johnny. But yeah, he will he will definitely be seen again. Oh, no doubt. Stop. Been here to cap off the fifteen, right? 
Yes, actually. And this 15 footer actually becomes a little bit. 15 for 15. Mm hmm. And you know it's got to be in his mind because this is for a 39 versus a 40, which yeah. is any, a 30s round. You know what I mean? It's something a disc golfer dreams of. Mm. Great putt. Wait a second. It took a little extra For the time. lead of the tournament. Oh, that's another good point. A lot mm -hmm. riding on that putt. Well, I just, I can't, I haven't said it yet, but like to emphasize it enough, I think how well, not just how well Ben played this round, but mentally because you know with Ben's game as we've seen, he strives on the more technical courses and the longer courses are not necessarily his best. So he knows he mm -hmm. had to get everything he could here going to UAH and then to execute it and not let that pressure get to him. You know what I mean? So to go out and hit that 39 was really great. Yeah, big time. Uh, absolutely. So super great rounds from Logan and Ben. And again, Johnny just quietly staying a few strokes back. You know what I mean? So <laughs> hashtag 11. <laughs> As always, thank you for watching. Taylor, thanks again for all you do. Absolutely, man. Thanks for letting me be here. We'll be looking for the final round coming up next. Yep. See you guys. Peace.